Hola! Today we're making three very easy tapas that you can make at home anytime and which are delicious. Success guaranteed. So, let's get started. First of all, we're going to make some pimientos de padrón, which are padrón peppers. It's a type of pepper which is very small and they have a peculiarity, which is some of them are sweet, some of them are hot. It's like a little lottery. First of all, I prepare the pan with plenty of olive oil and I'm gonna put these ones to blister a little bit for just a minute on a medium to high fire. And after a minute, I turn them around. As you can see, they got a little bit blistered. That's what we want. We don't want them burned at all. And after turning them around a little bit, we let them cook. Then we take them out, we remove the excess oil, and we're gonna put a little bit of rock salt on top. That's all it needs to be a success. So our first tapa is ready. Now to the second one, we're gonna make some patatas alioli, which is this alioli sauce. The ingredients are in the description. This is for the garlic lovers. Now, first of all, I got my potato. We washed it properly and we're gonna cut it into big chunks. As you can see, I'm leaving its skin because I don't wanna, I don't wanna peel it right now. It's gonna be much easier after boiling the potato, as you'll see. Now I'm gonna get my parsley, I'm gonna get the leaves, and remove the stem, and now very carefully, I'm gonna use a big knife to cut it into very small pieces. Because I'm gonna use it for my mix, for my sauce. And then the last element here, the main character in this place is gonna be the garlic. Same thing here, I'm gonna dice it into very small pieces. Now I'm gonna use a mortar. So we're gonna get both the parsley and the garlic and our tool and get to it. Start bashing it with some time and patience. And here it is, our mix. We're gonna add it to the mayonnaise. And we mix it all together and we have something that resembles the traditional alioli sauce. Now we're gonna boil the potatoes with some rock salt. We're gonna cover it and now you can see that the skin comes out so easy. After we cool it off for some time in the fridge, I'm gonna put this in the bowl and I'm gonna add the sauce. and mix both ingredients together so that everything gets properly coated. Presentation. This is much nicer with big chunks of potato. And then, last but not least, I'm gonna give it a little fancy touch here with some parsley on top. It's much better if it's fresh, please. Do not get the dried one. So our second tapa is ready in no time. Now to the last one, the most colorful one is for the people who love gherkins, it's called banderillas. So you can just add any type of uh, gherkin and uh, anchovies as well. And in no particular order, I just put it there so that I can follow the order. So let's get started. I got my stick and the first thing I'm putting in this stick, in this skewer is some um, peppers, pickled pepper, and then I put a little bit of red roast pepper, then I put some small onions, which are also pickled, and then I put my anchovy. Then in the middle, I'm going to put this big olive, and then once again, same combination. So there is some symmetry in this tapa, in this skewer, and that one's ready. Just repeat, and you will have a plate full of these beauties for the people who like pickled food. This is a delicious, nice, easy tapa. So our three tapas are ready and I'm sure you will enjoy it. 
So please remember, if you liked our video, you would help us with a like and you would help us even more if you subscribe to our channel. I'm saying buen provecho. Let's enjoy. And adios.